the raw water is fed into the system through this booster pump into this inlet. It flows up into a dosing chamber which is connected at site filled with chlorine for elimination of bacteria that may be present in the water. From the dosing pump, the water proceeds to this chamber filled with activated carbon and graded sand media for filtration of suspended particles or suspended solids that may be present in the water and the carbon eliminates the chlorine that is now present in the water. Water then proceeds to these sediment filters or cartridge filters of 10, 5 and 1 micron respectively for further elimination or filtration of suspended particles or suspended matter in the water. There is a carbon filter for filtration of carbon that may have been swept from the sand and carbon filtration chamber. From the sediment filters, the water proceeds or flows to these ultrafiltration chambers of microfiltration that filters out bacteria that may be present in the water and further filtration of suspended particles of matter that may still be present in the water. Water from the ultrafiltration chambers is passed through a dosing pump filled with chlorine for pH adjustment of the water as well as array of ultraviolet rays to kill bacteria and totally sterilize the water before the water is stored in this storage tank. The other two components in the ultrafiltration purifying machine is the filling station comprising of a storage tank of capacity 250 liters as well as two taps for filling bottles. The third component is the bottle rinser comprising of a pressure jet and a recycling system. It functions in this way. You fill purified water from the filling station into the rinsing sink to feed the recycling system. That water is capable of cleaning at least 20 bottles. Thus, the three-in-one ultrafiltration purifying machine is advantageous in minimizing water wastage. This is a three-in-one control panel for the following functions. This is a power switch. When it is switched on, this LED, red light lights on to indicate that the machine is connected to power, to a power source. The second switch is an operational switch to indicate when the machine is operational or when it's in the process of purifying water. This green light lights up to indicate that the machine is in the process of purifying water. The push button is the operational switch for the rinser. When switched on, this green light lights up indicating that the rinsing process is ongoing. This is a standby light that lights up when the storage tank is filled and thus switching off the purification process. Automatically, when the level of water in the storage tank reduces or decreases, the standby light goes out and the green light of operation lights up, indicating that the purification process has resumed.